classified by authority of the Site-120 Director Council. This document and all associated documents are the property of the SCP Foundation, and are subject to the classification requirements and restrictions therein. This document may or may not contain lethal memetic defense measures. Attempting to access or disseminate this document without proper and sufficient authorization is punishable by death. Item Number SCP-5484 Level 2 Restricted Containment Class – Safe Disruption Class of Lamb – Risk Class – Warning Assigned Site – Site-120 Site Director – Site-120 Director Council Research Head – Mitchislav Berry Assigned Task Force – Not Applicable Special Containment Procedures SCP-5484 is to be sealed off from the remainder of Site-120's building. Until it can be repurposed to serve as an elevator again, Site-120 staff are encouraged to use the remaining means of transport as alternative ways to traverse the building. Description: SCP-5484 is a space-time disruption taking the form of a seemingly endless pit, located within Elevator 2B's shaft in Site-120, Czestochowa, Poland. Footnote 1 Prior to SCP-5484's initial manifestation, the elevator was fully functional. Alongside its walls, numerous thaumaturgic markings, mainly depicting phrases such as suffering, pain, and gateway, are located, with markings of both high Akiva radiation and low Hume levels being detected next to it. Though so far no Foundation equipment was able to reach SCP-5484's bottom, recording equipment sent into it detects muffled noises consistent with human moans, screams, and silent humming coming from within it. The deepest the Foundation had been able to venture into SCP-5484 was a depth of approximately 25 kilometers down. Footnote 2 – As seen during an unmanned drone exploration Though almost no differences were noted with the increasing depth as compared to the higher parts of the anomaly, a small increase in temperature has been noticed around the deeper parts of it. Similarly, the volume of the sounds coming from within it has been noted to increase slightly with increasing depth, though not well enough to be comprehended by Foundation staff. From materials gathered during its discovery, it is theorized that SCP-5484 leads to, or at least one of its versions, the Catholic version of Hell, as described within the Bible. Though this hypothesis is still being investigated due to the abnormal amounts of pain energy as well as thaumaturgical and theological processes detected within the anomaly, it is still a possible explanation. Addendum 5484.1 Discovery SCP-5484 was discovered on September 5, 2003, following an attack from a subgroup of Group of Interest 120, Triumvirate, on Site-120. Footnote 3 GOI-120, Fey-4, We Will Prevail, a large-scale organized Fey terrorist group focused on reclaiming its supposed territory back from humanity, not infrequently focusing on Foundation sites to do so, mainly operating from within Esterberg. During the group's escape from the facility, it initiated a ritual which would, as described in the scripts carried by it, open a gate to hell itself, consuming your enemies whole. Though it went as planned, due to the ritual site being so remote, it had only affected the elevator rather than the entire site as initially planned by the group. Following the ritual's activation, all of the group's members were consumed by the forming spatial disruption, effectively eliminating them from the site. The following are SCP-5484 test logs conducted shortly after the anomaly's discovery. Test 1 Procedure Throw a standard testing object, a small steel ball, into SCP-5484. Outcome Test subject has not been recovered. It is presumed to still be falling down SCP-5484. Test 2 Procedure Same as Test 1 Outcome Test subject rapidly flew out of SCP-5484 after three minutes of falling. It was covered with salty water and sand of unknown origin. Test 3 Procedure Same as Test 1 Outcome Test subject rapidly flew out of SCP-5484 after four minutes of falling, this time additionally covered with wet kelp. Nine logs omitted. Test 13 
Procedure Descend into SCP-5484 using a remote drone. Outcome The drone descended to a depth of approximately 4 kilometers, after which it ceased communication. All attempts to locate it have failed. Last footage sent by the drone was that of an unknown fluid, similar in appearance to water. Test 14 Procedure Same as Test 13 Outcome The drone descended to a depth of approximately 6 kilometers, after which it ceased communication. All attempts to locate it have failed. Temperature readings recorded an increase of 5 degrees Celsius. Last footage sent was similar to Test 3. Test 15 Procedure Same as Test 13 Outcome The drone descended to a depth of approximately 10 kilometers, after which it ceased communication. All attempts to locate it have failed. Audio equipment recorded sounds consistent with muffled human speech, rushing wind, and sea waves. Test 16 Procedure Same as Test 13 Outcome the drone descended to a depth of approximately 25 kilometers, after which it ceased communication. All attempts to locate it have failed. Akiva radiation, which became significant enough to be detected after 20 kilometers, increased with depth to the point of sensor overflow. Addendum 5484.2 Further SCP-5484 Research the following is a log of initial research conducted on SCP-5484 as done by Site-120 staff. Date: September 7, 2003 Begin Log Both present parties are standing on the walls of the elevator shaft, protected by appropriate equipment, looking down into the pit of SCP-5484. Around them, inactive Foundation terrain scanners can be seen, with Michaels holding a small screen linked to them and an activation console. Michaels. Footnote 4. Dr. James Michaels, member of Site-120's Director Council and its Ontokinetics and Spatial Disruptions Chief. E yep, that's hell alright. Burry. Footnote 5. Mitchislav Burry, lead of Site-120's maintenance team. Well, this ain't good. Because we literally have hell near our offices? No, because we'll actually have to clean something up for once. Both pause for a second, during which Michaels activates the scanners. All beep with dim light, and three seconds later, the tablet he is holding lights up. <clears throat> yeah, wormhole type, dimensional portal, high Akiva, though mainly focused around the worship of one entity. T temperatures higher than 26 Celsius, and the constant hatred outputs and suffering filters. We got hell on our hands, and it's not pretty. Why is that, if I may? Michaels looks directly into Barry's eyes. Well, aside from the fact that it's, you know, literally hell, the pain scanners are really, really bad. The sheer amount of suffering within is genuinely staggering, to the point my tech's overloading. Give me a moment though, I, I, I have to check something. Michaels taps the screen twice. It'll take a while. He pauses for a second. Though, if it's not a mistake, then Jesus, the amount of pain emitted from this would be able to literally power the human civilization for millennia if harvested well. I always imagined a theoretical hell would be bad, but this is just… no. No. Is this much of a surprise though? Haven't we discovered hell already, a while back? Heard a thing about it or two some time ago. I mean, yes, we did, but 5572 is an absurdly specific afterlife. Even that, it's just an actual pleasure when compared to this. I... I'll have to bring this to the rest of the directors. No one deserves this end to their story. Both pause for a second. If it's so horrible, then what cause even spawned this, actually? What's the triumvirates, triumvirates problem? Triumvirates. Just general hatred, I imagine. If their goal is to bring back the lands we stole from them in their eyes, I don't think bringing hell to someone for bringing hell onto you is fair, honestly. Hatred only breeds more hatred, and oh. 
The scanner beeps three times in a row, finishing the scanning. Oh, oh no. What's going on? I... it's even worse. What you mean? For no six. Just because you want to know what it meant doesn't mean you should. J. Michaels. What? Exactly what you heard me say. J Jesus fucking Christ. La no. Just no. I'll pause for a moment. We'll have to contact Overwatch about this, just to make sure this is real. Because if it is, Jesus Christ. End log. In light of further information gathered from scans of the area SCP-5484 leads to, as well as the log results, two days later, Overwatch Command issued the following. Project Gracia Proposal The Office of 051 In light of all the discoveries made following initial contact with SCP-5484, the entire SCP Foundation is to change its approach towards all subjects. In previous years, we valued coldness and objectivity over kindness and other human virtues. However, in the light of newly acquired information, we can never let a single person be a victim of what most likely comes as a punishment for our sins after death. We still do not know the exact nature of hell presented to us by SCP-5484. It is, however, an afterlife different from all known descriptions of hell in recorded human history. And, from what we have gathered, we can be certain that it is not an afterlife one would want to be stuck in. As we have no other choice than to continue research on SCP-5484, we propose Project Gratia as a temporary containment strategy. We, as the Foundation, need to redeem our personnel as quickly as possible. 05-1 Addendum 5484.3 File Update September 14th, 2003 Site 120 Director Council. On September 13, 2003, the second and final inspection of SCP 5484's runes prior to the proper Foundation wide activation of Project Gratia has been conducted by Site 120's Grand Thaumist and Thaumaturgical Archivist and its Director Council member, Daniel Ashworth. Aside from numerous differences between translation of said runes and the ones after the second scan, it was noted that the major rune, used to complete the ritual and properly activate the portal, was mistakenly written with a single L, resulting in the portal leading to the Hell Peninsula of Poland, rather than to a potential torturous afterlife. Due to this, all plans regarding Project Gratia are currently being pulled back. All similarities between the vision of a hellish afterlife and Poland are currently being investigated. That's it for today everyone, thank you so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to my level 4 patrons, Alexis Zagrate, Lesby Friends, Scrubversive, and Max Loves Ears. If you would like to see your name at the end of my videos, see my videos early, and get some other cool perks, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell, link in the description.